So a quick check um, if you ever want to check whether or not um, a CT clamp is working. So I'm doing this with the grid CT clamp. So basically all you need to do is introduce AC power into the unit. This doesn't work off batteries only, so just AC power. Actually, I've just put a plug on the end of that AC, so I've got power into the unit. Everything's on and running, okay? Then what I've done is I've created a fake grid. All I've got, I've got this extension lead here, you see the orange one, and I've just stripped back a bit of the cable on it. So you could, if you could find an extension lead and just expose a bit, pop the clamp around the live, Okay, make sure you've got some load. So I've just got an oil fired heater here that's running and then just plug it in. So if you put your grid CT in there, click it on instantly, you can see the load coming on there. Take it out. No load. Put it on. Load. So basically I've just created a false live somewhere local, nice and easy to test it. And if ever you're extending a CT clamp, it's quite an easy way to do it. So you just coil all your extra on the ground, make up the CT clamp, test it. We know it's working before you go and lay it, you know, however, whatever distance you're going to do. So it's just a way of double checking. If you think a CT clamp isn't working or it's faulty, this is a really simple test. Just AC power, create a false live. If you put this CT clamp the wrong way around, you will get a zero reading. So you need to probably check it both way around if you can't work out which way it would be on a normal install. But on a normal install, arrow always points towards the load. So in this case, the arrow is pointing towards the heater, which is our false load. But if I was to turn that around, so the arrow is facing downwards there, which is towards the load. If I was to turn that around, it would read zero. So check it both ways around. But yeah, really simple way to check that a CT clamp is working.